CTV family. Catch us live on your TV screen. Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are still tuned in to Excel Live. And you guys know we encourage you guys all the time because we do love hearing from you guys. Please, if you have any questions or comment, hit us up on our social media platforms on Twitter by Excel underscore live. On Facebook, Excel Live. And our WhatsApp number is 74 And I believe that we have a voice note. Let's hear what you guys had to say. Hi, Lauren. I was watching the TV program now for today. XC Live. Uh, the one you were on yesterday. And they're talking about savings and, and stuff like that. This is the best program ever. I really think they should put it on other channels as well. Teaching and talking to younger people about saving. This is so, so good. Wow, thank you so much for that wonderful message. We appreciate it. It is indeed a very good show. And we, you guys make it a great show. So thank you so much. And please keep those voice notes coming. Our WhatsApp number. One more time is 074-6500-202. Right now, though, let's talk all things career prep with Amanda. Welcome to the show. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for joining us. For the people that do not know, please tell them who you are and the type of work that you do. So I'm Amanda, I'm an educational psychologist, mm -hmm. so I do some career counselling, so subject choice assessments and guidance for learners, and then grade 10s and 11s, 12s who want to make decisions about further education, we guide them, and also students who are not sure about their courses and what, and what next. Mm -hmm. yes. So what type of uh, help do you provide? Let's say I'm a student, I'm halfway through the year, and I'm finding out that I, this course is not the one. It doesn't have, it only has that one subject that I chose from high school, thinking that maybe I'll expand more on it, but there are the modules now, and I'm struggling with it. What type of work do you do? Well, I think it's two things. The one thing is you want to make sure that is this course that you're doing connected to a career that you want to go and enter, because okay. all courses have one or two modules that you maybe won't like, and that you then maybe have to sit through so that you can do the degree or the course and finish it and qualify to go into the career. But if you find you are doing things and you don't like anything and you don't want to go into the career that it's leading to, uh -huh. then we'll do some conversations and maybe some assessments, like a metric assessment to see what your interest and your values, your personality is, what your skill set is, so we can connect you to um, a better career that fits you better. So, so what, what would you say is the best thing, the most important thing to do or to consider when you choose subjects? So when you choose subjects in grade nine, so um, yeah, unfortunately maybe, we have to make these big decisions when we are 15 years old. Yeah. And that's quite tough. So what is really important to consider when you choose your subjects, not only what do I like right now, but to mm -hmm. glance into the future and to say, okay, what type of careers might I want to go um, and enter? What, what options do I want to keep um, open? And then if you go and explore that, investigate that properly and see what the requirements are of the courses that will lead to those careers, mm -hmm. that, is, that is a very important thing to consider when you, when you think about your subject choices. Right. And that's quite interesting. And I also feel that maybe the system needs to change a little bit. Because I remember when I was in high school at 14, these are big decisions to make. Because I really did love natural science. So I was advised that to then grade 10 do the physical stream. Yeah. Like grade 12, I had fallen out of love with science. <laughs> and then two years after high school, and I found love for business studies. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to varsity, I fell in love with marketing. So all these things change, yet you have to make the decision at 14. Yes. Yes, and I think what happened to you is as you were exposed to different things, mm -hmm. you, could, you could know, I like this, I don't like that. So, yes, I, I wish we could um, have learners take all the subjects up to grade 12 and then they can make a more informed decision about their future. But unfortunately, the system is what it is and mm -hmm. we have to make choices early on. So what I would suggest in the meantime, until you maybe change the system yeah, <laughs> or somebody to. somebody does, is that is to really do investigate, to still go and have a look at different careers, to talk to people, to you know, to talk to people like yourself, mm -hmm. to, to know, you know, like what were the mistakes or what are the careers out there. So that because without exposure you can't know. 
if you didn't have the exposure, you wouldn't know what you like and, and don't yes. like now, right? And not only the exposure, because things change. You grow and you develop as a person. If something I liked at 15, yes. at 19, maybe I feel differently about it. And let's talk about the sessions that you, you, you run for students. Yes. Yes, so what we did is on our um, Instagram profile and on the Facebook page, did a, a video, um, so it's just like a real home, like homemade video, uh -huh. to um, to take people through um, this decision of subject choice. So to say, okay, let's look at a few things, look at exploring who you are, look at different career fields, um, look at different kinds of further education, and then what the requirements are when you actually have to choose your subject for grade 10, 11, and 12. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, everybody is you know, welcome to have a look at that. There's resources shared on that, websites that they can go and use. So they can just go to the Career Prep Instagram and have a look at that and see what they learn and then contact me if they want to know anything more. Right. I really appreciate your work. I feel like I hope that maybe when I was maybe much younger, I was exposed to such programs because it actually is helpful. And some of the things that are helpful that you're doing is Kayam Nandi. Let's talk more about that. What are you guys going to be doing? What can people expect? Yes, so in Kaimandi, I do some work at the Legacy Center. Um, they have a program called Ikamba, um, and it's an after school program for high schoolers. And one of the sessions they do once a week is career sessions. Okay. Um, and in those sessions, we do this kind of thing. We expose them to knowing more about, what, about themselves, we expose them to different career fields. Pre COVID, we'd had a career day when people came and like showed them about their careers and they could like see and talk yes, to people yes. and people from colleges came. Hopefully we'll be able to do that um, soon again. So we've taken through those processes and then we also help them with workshops and individual sessions to talk about those decisions they have to make. Yeah, these are really, really great initiatives. I'm really am impressed. And I feel like maybe another thing that confused me was I always knew that I wanted to be a presenter. I just didn't know what I maybe it to study, or et cetera, et cetera. One more time, when can people find you on social media? Maybe they want to get involved, or they maybe want to be exposed to more careers. So, so they can go on Instagram at Career Prep. Um, on Facebook, also Career Prep. Um, I know there's um, Prep Your Career. So if, uh, I think there's another Career Prep, so they can just have a look there. Um, or email me at info at careerprep.goza, and then um, we can share some info. We appreciate you so much for making time for us. Really, I really do appreciate this. And also, thank you for the work that you do. Eh? Thank you. Yeah, you're that. saving other kids from being like me, <laughs> doing all these courses and finding that you don't like them. But you're saving them as well by right? doing this. Thank you so much. And you guys, please do. Stay with us because we do have an exclusive Ulama head and sit down with the legendary house vocalist to Holly Ray. You do not want to miss that. And also, Uzluandile is still here. Usnale also have some things that you might learn from. So stick around. This is Excel Live. Sabuya, this is an airbreak. Sabuya, one more. CTV family.